Hi everyone and welcome to Steve's Kitchen. Today I'm going to be showing you a kitchen basics. I'm showing you how to make honeycomb. Now honeycomb is very simple to make and once you know how to make it, you're just limited by your imagination as to what you can do with it. Now, for instance, I'm going to be using this recipe for something that involves Google and Hokey Pokey. Now if you guys know what Hokey Pokey is, comments down below or if you can guess what it is that I'm going to be making, I'd love to hear from you. So into a cold saucepan, I'm just gonna put a quarter of a cup of sugar. Now if you want to make more, you can double this recipe quite easily. Then I'm gonna add two tablespoons of honey and one tablespoon of water. Now you could use golden syrup in this, but I want that honey flavor, so I'm using honey. And we're just gonna mix this through until we get a nice paste. So I've just put the gas now onto a low heat and I'm just gonna stir occasionally as that sugar starts to dissolve into the honey. So you start to see the sugar, the little lumps of sugar start to clarify as you get a nice smooth syrup. So now the sugars have completely dissolved, we're just gonna let that simmer away or boil away really for another three to four minutes. We need that sugar to come up to a hard crack temperature, it's about 150 degrees Celsius, uh, 300 degrees Fahrenheit. You don't need to actually measure the temperature for this. If you let it go on for three to four minutes, you're gonna be pretty safe that you're there. Okay, after about four minutes now, you can see I'm getting a lovely caramel color in the bubbles here. So I'm gonna turn that heat off now. I'm just gonna give time for those bubbles to just settle down a little bit. Then I'm gonna take it over to a counter and add some bicarbonate of soda or baking soda. Okay, I'm just gonna give that a little stir through just to knock some of those bubbles down. Now we've got that lovely caramel sugar base there. And at this point, I'm going to take a teaspoon of bicarbonate soda, baking soda, pop that into the mix, and then quickly mix that through and watch what happens. You've got these lovely bubbles just coming up. And whilst it's still warm like that, I'm just going to pour it out onto a, a baking tray or a cookie tray whatever you have, a baking parchment, and let it cool down there in that mass. Now as that cools down, it will actually settle a little bit, but that's all fine. So there you have it guys, there is my lovely slab of honeycomb. Now you can break this up and you can use it in all different types of recipes. I mean really, your imagination is your limitation on this. Here is a honeycomb that I've cooked slightly less and I've actually used the golden syrup and that's a lighter honeycomb. Uh, thanks very much guys, there is the honeycomb. I should be making a recipe with this in the next day or so, so please subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.